What's up guys, Also Nerd Joe here and today we're unboxing the Loot Crate for this month. And so the theme is artifacts, so I don't really know all that's going to be in here. I know they have a Lord of the Rings item that they've been advertising like crazy. So um, take a look at that, which we'll start out with right here on top. And so it's called a Mini Epics by Weta Workshop. It's Loot Crate exclusive and it's Lord of the Rings Frodo Baggins figure. And so it's just a little figure um, on the back here. It looks like they, oh these are kind of cool. They have other figures too, I did not know that. So there's a Gimli, an Org, Frodo, uh, Gollum, and uh, Orakai. And so those would be cool. I've got to figure out where to find this because I kind of want them. And so we'll go ahead and look at this. So here is Frodo out of the box, and I really like this. It kind of reminds me of the old, like, Hobbit artwork. I think it was for the old Hobbit book. They actually had pictures is what this Frodo looks like to me. But I really like it. So, of course, there's his face with the big, giant blue eyes that kind of made it, you know, really cartoonish. And he's got the curly hair, very curly hair though on the side. He's got Sting in his hand, all glowing. There must be orgs around. Then, of course, we have the elven cloak with um, the leaf. I can't remember what it's called right now. And then he's got the cloak on everything. Then, of course, he's in his normal Hobbit outfit. He has the ring there in his hand around a necklace that I really like and then of course going down to his big giant feet that they did put hair on it and stuff for hobbit feet and so this does come with a just a clear stand that I really like I like just when stands are clear so they don't have a whole lot of detail going into them and so there we have Frodo to sit on that and then I do like this does come with a little booklet too showing you all the characters and there are a buttload so here are all the different characters that they have of course all the different Lord of the Rings characters going on there with more to come it looks like in the future so I definitely want to look into these and possibly get some or all of them because I want those so that is really cool I really like that and next up we have our shirt for the month and just seeing the artwork from the top I really like this so a very cartoonish looking Thanos here sitting on his throne with a bunch of skulls all around him then of course he's got the infinity gauntlet on with all the um, infinity stones in it and I just really like this because this is the classic looking Thanos here and I like the way that he looks in this and I really like the artwork and everything just this gray shirt I don't like it all but you never know I may sacrifice it just to be able to wear this artwork and next up here we have a map. It's a Legend of Zelda map of Hyrule. So let's kind of pull this out. It kind of shows what it is there. Um, so here, oh, that's a cool looking map. I wish this was a Lord of the Rings map. That'd be so cool. And so there you can see all the map. I've never played the Zelda, well, I did a long time ago, but played Zelda games, so I don't know much of anything about this. But this paper's weird. So it's a really thin piece of paper, like it could easily rip. But the front of it is like a glossy type, so you can see the reflectiveness off of it and everything. But um, I really like that. I really like this map. Like I said, I wish this was Lord of the Rings or something, because that'd be so much better. But that is a really cool map. Next up, we have some Dark Crystal says set of six note cards with envelopes. I assume they're just things you can know you can write up and send to people. Let's see what they look like though. So of course there's the card. Oh, oh okay. So here's some pictures of it. So um, they're all different. I thought they'd just all be the same. I've never seen Dark Crystal, so I don't much know much of anything about. Then there's some stuff there on the back. I don't know if that has to do with characters. Oh yeah, they're all different, so we got that. And then, so they each say something different, have some like story on the back. So these all look really cool. I like the designs and everything they put into them. And then I assume they're just empty. Oh yeah, they're just empty, so you can just write notes or whatever. And they have the envelopes and everything. So if you want to ship those out to pe people or whatever, I don't know <laughs> what you do with them. But uh, they're different, but they're not any of any use. Then our last item out of the box is our pin for the month. And we have a, like a gauntlet or chalice here. And it doesn't say anything what it is, of course. Oh, it doesn't even say the month or anything. But of course, this is April 27 or 2018. But again, we have a chalice there. But don't know what's from, just has the Loot Crate logo on it. And so that is it for all of the items out of our box. Of course, then we have our pamphlet with the artifacts there, April 2018. And so, of course, we got our Lord of the Rings Frodo figure that, again, I really like. Our Thanos t-shirt that I really want to wear, but that collar is kind of weird. Then our Dark Crystal note cards here. Our Legends of Zelda map, that, again, if it was any other map of something else, it would be really cool. And then our Chalice pin for the month. Which, again, is not from anything specific. It's just a pin. And then, of course, our Mega Crate there that no one wins. And so that's it for the Loot Crate this month. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to see more unboxings. And we'll see you next time.